We begin with flooding from last night's severe storms. This is 23rd Street this morning. You can see several cars underwater in the parking lot there. Knoxville's assistant fire chief tells 10 News crews pulled four people from cars on that road. Cleanup underway in Anderson County as well. Take a look at that damage to the fairgrounds this morning. Tonight at 5, team coverage of the aftermath. Last night's severe weather really doing damage in Anderson County. We'll check in with 10 News reporter Jacinta Rinder there. First, though, 10 News reporter Fernando Garcia Franceschini joins us live from those apartments flooded in the Fort Sanders neighborhood. Fernando? Well, John, fire crews tell us this morning the water was at around chest level. So obviously, as you can see, it has started subsiding. But if you take a look behind me, you can see those cars still covered pretty much at that medium level. And the people I spoke to say really right now, that is their biggest concern. An unusual scene on 23rd Street outside University Walk Apartments on Thursday. She's lived here for about 15 years and we've never I've seen anything never like seen this. this happened before. This is crazy. Some got lucky. I came back a little late last night, so I couldn't find parking inside. But uh, I woke up and uh, there's a whole swimming pool outside my uh, apartment. So I kind of lucked out with that. Others spend the day walking through feet of water, just trying to see how underwater their cars were or on the phone and talking to family or insurance companies. One of them was Anna Dozier. I woke up for work around seven and I we have a group me um, for our apartment and I checked it and I saw pictures of the flooding. So I went and looked out my window and I saw my car was completely flooded. She says many people in her building are in the same situation as her. They're all totaled like completely. The water level has completely rised up into our cars. We're just going to have to get new ones, I suppose, with the money we get from insurance. Knoxville's assistant fire chief tells 10 News crews pulled four people from cars on area roadways Thursday morning. He says flooding is unusual in this area, and that's why he says they requested Knoxville area stormwater to check the area for possible drainage issues, potentially caused by storm debris. Well, John, we talked earlier today with the city's stormwater engineering chief, and he tells us, you know, crews have been investigating today. They do say they have found a blockage in the draining system, so they are trying to get a pump down here at some point today. At last check, when I spoke to him about two hours ago, they still didn't know when that was going to happen.